Hello, I'm John Davis. Since 1984, I've been a member of the Champlain Housing Trust, a community land trust here in Burlington, Vermont. We are one of about 280 community land trusts in the United States. Today, I am also on the board of the Center for Community Land Trust Innovation. I am joined on that board by your colleague, Teresa Williamson. I've been impressed and excited to watch the growing interest of community land trust in Brazil and the work that all of you are doing to try to create the first community land trust in the favelas in Rio de Janeiro. I know it's presumptuous for an outsider looking on to say, I think the potential is great, but I do think the potential for your work is great because I think the benefits are obvious. The Community Land Trust would allow for community ownership of land that would give security of tenure in the face of market forces and political pressures that threaten to move people out of the favelas, making way for more affluent businesses and individuals. At the same time, community land trust would give the owners and the occupants of the houses and the businesses in the favelas the right to get a return on their investment, give them the right to build and improve their properties however they would like. But in the future, should they decide to resell their buildings, then the Community Land Trust would help to keep those buildings affordable, one owner after another, one generation after another. That's the way the Community Land Trust works in my city, in Burlington, Vermont. That's the way it's working around the world. It's that combination of community interest and individual interest in a sustainable balance that makes the Community Land Trust attractive and sustainable over time. One of the aspects of your work in Brazil that I'm most impressed by is what we call in the United States, keeping the sea in CLT. That is your work in trying to lay down a foundation for community land trust growth and development in Brazil is built on a foundation of community organizing, community education, community empowerment. Community land trust only thrive when they have that kind of base of support. And that's the kind of foundation that by your efforts and your work, you are laying down. I think that we are going to look back at your efforts a number of years from now, and we're going to learn from what you've done, by the work that you've done, and by the way you've taken a model of tenure that's been applied in the United States and in Europe and made it your own, and reworked it for your own purposes to fit your own priorities and needs. So I'm impressed by your work. I congratulate you on your efforts, and I hope that you're able to hang in there and make it happen.